What year was this? Just so people that have was in uh, eighty three, yeah. nineteen eighty three, wow. and uh, the building's still there where I had my first office. Uh, it used to be, if you know where the Ringling old Ringling Hotel was. Probably don't even know. So I know it's not a hotel there. No, yeah. It's called the Weston now. Oh, the okay, Weston. So right we know the Weston. Weston yeah. yeah, well, across the street from the Weston was a, a place where I was to work. But anyway, long story short, I came out to Sesta Key, and I looked at that beach, and I said, no, I'm not going anywhere else. And I moved out here in 83, and that was it. I never left except to go to, um, in 1990, I went to, uh, decided I didn't like being a stockbroker anymore. I want to change a career, and I went to chiropractic school in Atlanta. So I left for three and a half years and got back here in, like, 94. Um, and never left since, and done 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 very well, and loved the community, loved the beach, and when lot. you uh, when you moved back here in '94, is that when you started building the Pointer Rocks house, or when did you start? Yeah, that? I actually no, I didn't have any money then. I was broke. I just started. <laughs> uh, I started. Uh, I got my chiropractic degree. I had uh, my son Alex, and I had two other kids that had that had no. And autism. Alex and I go way back. I, yeah, I, I, Alex, I used yeah. to pick Alex up at the house, drop my drop my truck off, and drive his truck around and try to pick up chicks in the I village. You know, <laughs> did, did, yeah, the, did I, the circles, did the hot laps. Yeah, I told. Yeah, well, that's what that's kind of what gave uh, onto that uh, the. The show, the CS the Key show, that's kind of what was the original idea. Thought, yeah, right? the original idea for that. But no, I got here, I was totally broke. And um, I had two t- kids with autism, Alex, you know, who was just a bigger pain in the ass than the other two. <laughs> and uh, long story short, you know, um, you know, I did well with what I was doing. I opened up a couple of offices, chiropractic offices, and then opened another office and another office. And that took off. And then I came up with the As Gary concept. And that really made me a lot, made me a lot of money. And, and then um, my friends used to visit. Now when you start getting wealthy, you'll start seeing your friends from out of the woodwork <laughs> come and visit Especially you. when you, you live on the beach. Distant yeah, relative, the beach. relatives yeah. right. yeah, the woodwork. I didn't know came down, you know. And some I, I invited down, which they're still here. But long story short, no, I, I love my relatives and my family. So that's all it's, what it's about. But when uh, my friends came down, the college guys that I met from the University of Tampa, they came down, they go, man. This guy Alex has got it going on, man. This is like yeah, a, you should make a reality life. show out of this. And I said, hey, you know, maybe. My, I told another friend of mine, and he had a guy up in Jacksonville that used to make movies. And um, so he came down, and he just loved my house. He said, I can make a reality show out of your house. <laughs> and I said, all right, well, you know, what's it going to cost? So he said, he said, you know, it cost me about 150 grand to shoot this pilot, but I did it right. I mean, we had the infrared right, cameras, we had, yeah. we had the boat scenes, we had I, it. I remember that pilot. Remember? You showed me it on your, on, um, in my office on your cell phone. Everybody, yeah, couldn't believe it. You know, they go, yeah, that was pretty cool. It was pretty sweet. cool, even on a phone. Yeah, yeah but one out of 6,000 people get, when they show their show, gets picked for mm-hmm. a reality show. So that was my first shot at it. We got it. 